Hey Internet, I just want to do a quick little demonstration to show you how exactly it is that Google is reading your email, how you can check what phrases they may be reading, and then I'll get into the actual crux of the whole thing. You can try this out yourself, so I just attached, I, I said that I have an attached document, but I haven't actually attached anything to it, and when you try to send that, there's an automated message, message that says, you wrote attached this in your message, but there are no files attached, send anyway. So this is a video about how uh, Google reads your stuff. And I don't normally use Google Chrome because it's even more intrusive than Gmail is. But I need to in order to access their developer tools. So uh, if I try to search for that, if I try to search for the phrase attached is, it does not find it because it doesn't search through all of these. So what you need to do is to control shift F, which searches through the whole thing. And once it finds that, then it takes you to this uh, impossible to read format so you want to press on pretty print and then you can read the actual code itself and now you want to use control f again so that you can go exactly to where it is and also shows you multiple instances uh, within the same line so if you actually read all these these are all the phrases that google scans for and the point of this is just to show you the a quick way to figure out what it exactly is that google is willing to show you that it scans but here's the thing they've been reading your emails to uh figure out what types of ads to send your way for a very long time. And they're saying, oh, look, Google will no longer read your emails to personalize advertisements. You know what else they are doing, though? You want to see what else they're doing? The company recently introduced a new feature dubbed Smart Reply for Gmail's mobile apps. I don't use that. I don't really recommend it because look what it does. Smart Reply uses neural networks, computer algorithms designed to process information similar to the human brain. And what it does is that it reads your emails and suggests things that it can automatically put in for you. Uh, other things that Google does is that it may look at your... Um, Google Calendar and suggests things that you can do. So let's look at their terms of service really fast. They say they're not reading your emails uh, for ads anymore, but that does not mean that they're going to stop reading your emails altogether. Let's zoom in and enhance here and see what their terms of service says. Our automated systems analyze your content, including emails, to provide you personally relevant product features such as customized search results, tailored advertising, and spam and malware detection. This analysis occurs as the content is sent, received, and when it is stored. And what you should note about this is that it's not only Gmail doing this. That's why this video is not specifically about Gmail. It's just a case study, but uh, Hotmail, Yahoo, all of them do this sort of thing. In fact, it's necessary in order to prevent all sorts of spam from entering, but it also means that they are always reading your content before it's sent, during while it's being sent, and after it's sent. So they recently said that they're launching an advanced Gmail security feature for high-risk users. What's the advanced feature from you, Google, how do I get you to completely stop reading my emails? And the point I'm trying to make here is that nothing that you send through Google or through any other email service is private. In fact, if Google itself isn't doing it, the government steps in to do it. Uh, as was revealed back in 2015, the government went in and scanned your emails. So I showed you uh, these little phrases that you can check that Gmail is scanning for. These are the ones you know about. You have no idea if the government has their own little phrases that they decide they want to try to find. They could be searching for, uh, I don't know, like just bomb terminology or things of that nature to try to find out who is a high risk user. And although it's not legal for the government to do this without uh, a warrant, it is legal for them to go through the email service and do this without a warrant because as part of the terms of service, which we already went through, you actually agree to this, okay? So don't think for a second that anybody is sending any private email. It doesn't matter if you're a business user. It doesn't matter who you are. At any point in time, these phrases are going to get scanned, even as part of their professional features. In order to prevent spam, emails have to be scanned. In order to prevent malware, emails have to be scanned. In order to prevent phishing, emails have to be scanned. And uh, as was revealed recently, just October 3rd, 2017, Yahoo! Uh, it was initially thought that only 1 billion users were hacked in 2013. It turns out all of their users were hacked. Two, and Back in 2013, 3 billion users got hacked. As in, nobody's email is secure. Do not send anything through email that you are not fine with absolutely anybody seeing. So um, just one other thing I want to say about this. I did search through all of it in order to see if I could find other phrases. So what I searched for is... Um, Hold on, let me get this out here. I searched for the 
the just the ending of this, which is the close quotations and the semicolon. And if you do that, you end up with some number of searches. Um, I don't think it shows me exactly how many there are. Oh, here it is. It's 199. I went through all of these. I did not find anything malicious. I didn't find like um, things that the government may want to search for. But again, you're probably not going to see that as part of a public developer tools that's going to be hidden. So just keep an eye out for these sorts of things and keep an eye out for what Gmail may be searching for, what other email addresses may be searching for. And do not send anything through email that you're not fine with 100% of the world being able to access because you've had your email hacked. Heartbleed resulted in Gmail getting hacked. This resulted in Yahoo getting hacked. And if they're not getting hacked by foreign entities, they're probably getting hacked by the U.S. government or some other government. So, um, yeah, make sure that you do not regard any sort of email service as secure because they're reading it, other people are reading it, everybody's reading it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe because I'm going to be exposing more people. And uh, thanks for watching.